Good afternoon, everybody. I have got some broccoli cooking in the pot here. Um, unfortunately, my first half of this video didn't record, so I'm, I'm kind of showing you what I got um, going right now. Um, I've got one head of regular old, I think I said broccoli, I meant cauliflower, and then I happened upon a head of green cauliflower, which I thought was awesome for this recipe. If I had to do it again, I would do it all in the green cauliflower. Um, we are making today pond, cheesy pond scum. Um, sounds delightful, doesn't it? Um, I've got uh, the cauliflower cooking in the um, in the pot. Those mushrooms are for something else, not <laughs> not for. Um, not for this recipe. I have to do a, a voiceover for this one. My daughter was actually doing her homework. Um, so I just sort of recorded myself cooking. And so I'm doing a little bit of voiceover um, this afternoon. So those mushrooms were actually for something else. Um, we've got the, the cauliflower cooking in the pot. Salted water. Um, very typical. We're just going to cook it until it's just... Um, fork tender. I guess it really kind of depends on you. If you like your cauliflower really soft, cook it a little longer. If you like yours um, with a little more crunch to it, um, go ahead and pull it off a little sooner. It's sort of a low-carb mac and cheese, really, that we're, that we're doing today. It's similar recipes to what I've done before. Um, so just let it go until it's basically done to your liking, really. Okay, I'm just going to switch my pans around. Um, keep that uh, cauliflower cooking on the back burner. And then I'm going to put my... going to start my cheese sauce on the front burner here. Start with a couple of tablespoons of butter. Let that get all melty and lovely. All right, I've got, um, in here I've got four ounces of cream cheese, and actually about, I happen to have a little bit of brie just lying about, um, and actually I had gotten it, uh, gotten it earlier that day, so, uh, I'd say that's probably, uh, maybe two ounces of brie. It is not necessary. I just know that it's a lovely melty cheese, so I just threw it in there. But um, it's by no means necessary to the recipe. Now I'm just going to take the cream cheese and let it, you know, work it around. Let it all sort of melt down. Let everybody get all creamy and friendly in the pot. Um, and then I'll start adding our, our other ingredients. Okay, I'm adding a little bit of half and half um, to the mixture. You can use heavy cream. Um, I have actually stopped using heavy cream right now um, because all of the ones that I can find have the ingredient carrageenan in it, um, which is a thickener to make your, your heavy cream all thick and luscious. Problem is, is that I'm one of those people that have an inflammatory response to the ingredient. Um, and my psoriasis, 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 my psoriasis was acting up, um, and I was getting this spot that just was angry and, and irritated, so I cut out the heavy cream and have switched to the half and half because it doesn't have that ingredient in it. Um, if you want to use half, if you want to use heavy cream, you're more than welcome to, um, it really doesn't affect the final product, honestly. Um, so either or works great. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of, um, I believe this one was sharp cheddar um, to the pan, probably about a half a cup. Um, and then probably about another half cup of um, mozzarella as well. This is kind of up to you and, and depends on how cheesy you want it. You could add a little more cheese. 
um, if you wanted to. It's just, you know, cheesy, delicious goodness either way. So we're just going to stir this up, get it all nice and melty and delicious looking in the pan. A little more half and half just to, to get things smooth again. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of green food coloring um, and like a drop of blue. I'm, I'm sort of adding and stirring, seeing what's going on because some of the cheese that I used was, was yellow basically. So I'm going to add a little bit of blue um, along with a couple drops of green um, just because, you know, yellow and blue make green. So um, we're going to see how that looks. Okay, I did a couple more drops of blue. Okay, now I am going to have a, I bought one of those containers of like, it, I would have just used spinach, but I, it was a 50-50 blend of like um, baby spinach and um, new lettuce. It was like a, I think a red lettuce is what it was, but um, it was like a 50-50 blend. Um, I used about... I want to say two-thirds of the container. Um, I used some of it for salad earlier, but, you know, the whole container could go in there. And you're just going to mix it in with the, um, the cheese and let everything wilt down. Um, and you're just going to kind of cook it around, stir it. Um, I keep adjusting the temperature. <laughs> I'm one of those people, I start everything on high, and then I switch it down too low. And I turn it back up on high. So um, medium high to medium is probably what you actually want to be cooking this on. Um, but you're just going to stir that, that the greens into the, um, into the cheese. Let them wilt down. And let some of their, their fluid sort of... Fluid. That's, that sounds awful. The water kind of cook out of the pan that's coming off of the, um, the wilted vegetables. Then you're going to kind of season it a little. It just sort of depends on what kind of seasonings you like. Um, salt and pepper is pretty standard. Um, you could do a little bit of garlic powder. Um, just about anything in there would be really good.
Now, okay, I keep adjusting the, the food coloring. So I think I added another, um, another drop of green. I think I did also end up adding like a drop of yellow towards the end, just to sort of, I don't know, it was starting to look kind of teal colored. <laughs> So I wanted a little more green, so I put a little, I think a drop or two of yellow at the end. It's just sort of a, a test it and see. Keep dropping and stirring, dropping and stirring. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and um, finish cutting up the little pieces of, of cauliflower. Um, some of them were kind of in huge hunks, so I wanted things sort of bite-sized and um, broken down a bit. So just cutting those last little bad boys up, they're, they're done. Um, they're done cooking and I've, I've drained the, the cauliflower. I just want to make sure that all of the, the veg is wilted really nicely, um, and mixed well into the, the cheese sauce. And you're just going to take your cauliflower and transfer it. Like I said, if I had to do over again, I would use, you can just use the white cauliflower. That's fine. But if I had to do it over again, I would use all of the green cauliflower. And I'd like to try it with the, with broccoli, honestly, like the green cauliflower, like a mixture of the green cauliflower and broccoli. I think that would, that would look really, really cool. And then very carefully, <laughs> without dumping it all over your stove, you're going to mix up your, um, your cauliflower into your cheese sauce. There, I'm dropping in the yellow. Just keep stirring. You want everything nice and incorporated. Okay, then transfer it to your serving bowl. I actually happen to have a um, a plastic cauldron. Um, now it is not a food safe container, um, so I wouldn't put food directly in it. But what I did was I put it in a bowl um, and then added it to the cauldron. I think it would look really cool if you had some like dry ice or something underneath it bubbling out. But then you know that would cool down your cheesy stuff so maybe in something thermal <laughs> to keep it warm warm and cold at the same time um, yeah I ended up putting it in a little cauldron um, that I think looks pretty awesome and would be an awesome addition to any Halloween table so there is your creamy cheesy pond scum for your Halloween party. <laughs> looks pretty good and it tasted pretty darn good it almost had a taste of like a cross between um, like your your cheesy cauliflower and a, a spinach dip really so um, good all around I can't imagine anybody being like yeah well maybe a little kid with the, the spinach but it was it was really tasty and it absolutely looks ghastly so <laughs> enjoy and we will talk to you later